Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to talk about how you can connect Azure Redis Cache with Redis CLI. And this is very commonly used tool. So I want to show you certain settings which you may need to do at Azure to be able to do that. But before that, you need a Redis Cache. To create a Redis Cache, you need to go through certain steps. So let me quickly show you those steps. So if you say that I need a Redis cache in Azure portal, you say Azure cache for Redis. That's the, the marketplace service, which is from Microsoft available. And you can see that there are a bunch of them. I'll select the one which is from Microsoft and I click on create. And you can see a bunch of options. It asks you to provide a resource group, a name of the Redis cache, which is followed by Redis dot cache dot windows dot net so you know whatever name you provide has to be unique across all azure subscription by anybody and everybody which means that the name should be uniquely available because it's a dns entry at the end of the day so you should provide some uh, meaningful but in a new unique name and it will tell you if that name is already taken and which region you want to deploy and what's the pricing tier uh, so you can select a basic tier, which means that it will be nominal charges. You can check the pricing in the pricing page. But when you select the basic tier, the virtual network doesn't show up. So it's a grayed out one. So that's not allowed in the, in the basic tier. That's why we don't use basic tier for production whenever you need to protect it within the virtual network. But then you have the public endpoint and private endpoint. In the advanced section, you have an option called non-TLS port you can enable and then you have tags for the so billing purpose if you want to add tag and then create it so that's the step now if I click yes all the values are filled properly it'll take some time so what I have done I already have created a Redis cache so let me go back to my home page and open the Redis cache so there is a Redis cache which is pre-created and if you see over here I've got some 413 KB of data inside the Redis cache, not much. But what is important here after I get this Redis cache, I went ahead and modified the non-TLS. That is important. So I'll show you that. If I go into the advanced setting, you will see that uh, it asks you allow access only via SSL, which is no. Okay. And then you also have a non-TLS port that is 6379 enabled, okay? So if you say yes, it is automatically disabled. So you can see that it's become disabled. If you say no, then you can see that this is coming up with a port number. So you have to say no to uh, ac allow access via SSL to be able to allow the non-SSL port. So the SSL port is, is the same like 6380 right and you can see that there's a small notification which tells you tls 1.0 and 1.1 support is being retired which may impact your application's ability to connect the cache so what you need to do you take an action rest all remains the same so we just don't need to worry and after you do that you click on save which is already done hence it is grayed out but it is this requirement you need now we'll have to pick up a few things we have to pick up access key URL and the so if I go into the overview I copy the URL so I take the URL put it in a notepad and then I take the access key from the access keys which I'm gonna regenerate and then I put it here so these are the two important things now, next thing I need, I need a command prompt. Um, I prefer WSL if I'm working here. So I will use the uh, command prompt over here. So let me create that. So here you need to install the Redis CLI. I'm running Ubuntu in my Windows uh, subsystem for Linux. And in Ubuntu, you basically need to install the uh, Redis CLI tool. And to do that, the Redis CLI tool is available in Redis tools repo. 
So if you hit that, it will ask you to provide the password and then it's already installed, hence it is saying. So it's a simple single command which says that install Redis tools with apt-get command. So you get the, the tools installed. You can use app, apt install also from 16 plus onwards. So both the, both, the, both the command works. So you can see that if I run, that also gives me the same thing. So both are the same. So remember that you just need the Redis tools. That's the one and apt install is the command which you get, right? Now after that, what I need is that I need to run this tool. So I say Redis CLI. So if I run that, it is saying that it's unable to connect because by default, it tries to connect the local machine. So what I need to do is that I need to uh, tweak a little bit in my command to be able to connect it. So I'll say exit and I come back to my notepad and I use this notepad values and connect. So if I say redis cli minus h and provide that in double code minus p and here I need the port 6380 if I remember correctly 6380 minus u um, that is my um, Redis command. So if I say minus uh, copy minus A and I pass on that inside double quote just to make sure that no escape character is bothering my command prompt I copy the whole line and I paste it over here if I do so it gives me a little bit of warning because it's a free uh, let's say you can all, all read the, the secret which is not safe that's what it is telling but eventually it is getting connected to the redis cache right so you can see that I'm able to now connect to my redis cache using this thing right so i can even write a little bit of command like setting the value so i can say that um, set azure demo and value is redis one and put it in double quote got disconnected so let me just connect it hopefully this will work so let me just see 6380 let me quickly check the the port number 6380 is fine so it should be fine working fine yeah and uh, i will say set uh, my key four key four so it is somehow throwing me an error i not sure but that is basically going to get me into the redis cache quite quickly so it's it's kind of uh test it. let me just quickly check it out what is wrong over here
last try. Otherwise, there are ways to connect. So let me try set. Put my key three three my value three three something going terribly wrong into the system but otherwise it is allowing it generally allows you to connect um, through this command and once you get this command prompt right in the window you should be able to run all the Redis CLI command from here. Remember one thing that you need to make this thing know an SSL port, a non SSL port is 6379 and this should be good enough. So let me check with the port number which I am using here. Maybe I need to use this 6379. So let me check that out. Maybe I'm doing here. And I say set M and let's put a simple one. Yeah, so I was doing or giving a wrong port number. So it should be 6379 non SSL. And I can just continue to add, let's say, different values. Let's say I do. And I have got few keys to get all the keys to get a key. So I say M1. You get the value of the key as N, which we entered. It will give you all the value the same because the key val values are same across. But if you set a different value, let's say M22 to new values. And then if you try to get this M122, there's nothing, 122, you get the new values. So basically it is fetching you that. Now you can get all the keys. So you can say keys and you can define a pattern. And let's say you say M star, you can use the star query. And this will give me all the keys, which starts with letter M. If you want to know what are the other keys which is there in that, so list out all of them, like eight keys, which um, starts with anything. So it's not just M, but anything you can get in the list, right? So you can see that it is giving you um, a lot of values, but to uh, just the key, huh? to read the value, you have to go through each of the key to, to read the value, right? So that's what the CLI does. You can also write programs to really go through the, each of the key, get their value, and then pass it on to some some other place or use it in your application. Hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Have a good day.